Hi guys, time for another wooden kit. Which one are we going to do tonight? I probably want to live stream these. That would be fun. One step up from watching paint dry. Velociraptor, 49 pence. That shouldn't take very long, should it? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Triceratops. I haven't done a Triceratops lately. I do seem to have done a few Velociraptors though. Spinosaurus. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that. Just hit you in the eye, didn't I? That blooming racing car. Yeah. I'm saving that. I have got some much bigger kits that would take much longer to build. I might do one of them sometime. Because that would be more interesting than these dinosaurs. But I will do this one now, I think. Just because I've got two of them left. I know I've done them before. But... You go in a charity shop and you buy whatever they've got cheap. If it happens to be one you've done before, well, that's life. Right, have we actually got instructions? Yeah. Just in case there's the slightest chance you haven't watched me do this before, they are fairly simple to do. All the parts are numbered or the slots are numbered and you find numbers that go together so that says number one just there and you try and find the other bit that says number one down here so that bit number one goes with that bit number one there so I'll shove that up there where you can't see it Sometimes I put music to these videos, sometimes I just talk through them. I did have a comment from somebody who said he does like it when I talk, he prefers it to the music. So, sometimes I do talk. Right, if we match that so it's the same way up. Uh, we have a bit of a problem. That way. Okay. So that matches that. If you want to be absolutely safe, you go through and copy all the numbers and write them on all the slots. So that when you pop them out, you don't lose them. But we'll go daring. We won't write them in today. In fact, I haven't written them in for quite a long time. Probably getting overconfident. Okay, so on the picture, that slot there is number one. Number one, number one. And down there, that piece has number slot number two on it. Now you can glue them together, or you can just push them together and hope for the best. I usually try and push them together and hope for the best and then run around with super glue afterwards to seal them in place. So that was one and one. That says number two is that slot there, which is going to be the side of his face, I would think. Number five, number three, number two, jawbone from the looks of it. And sometimes they pop out all right, sometimes they don't. It does come with a little bit of sandpaper so you can tidy it up. 
So number two, the problem you do get is which way up they go. Now, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the right way up, but there's nothing to stop you sticking it in the other way up until you actually come and look at the finished article and you think, that looks stupid. So I'm pretty confident that's the right way up. Number three is going to be a similar looking piece down there. The other thing I use as a guide is this side is a bit smoother than that side and generally speaking the smooth side will be at the front or the outside generally speaking. So smooth side here, outside, so that's probably right. Number four goes up there. That's going to be a sort of a cross piece. Yeah, there we are, up there. Smooth side towards the front. Number five, that piece there. Sometimes I save the little bits of wood, and sometimes I don't. Smooth side, outside, there. I guess number six is going to be similar. Down there. No, not that piece. Down there, that piece. Smooth side, outside. go. If you are absolutely confident you could put some glue on it now. I tend to use super glue because it's quick. Uh, that's too much, much too much. <laughs> uh, the problem with super glue is if it doesn't dry quickly you end up with it on your fingers when you're trying to do other things. So where were we up to? That was number six. So, number seven. Uh, that was number eight. So I'm guessing number seven, yeah, there's number seven. It's going to be a piece that joins that bit to that bit. Here we are. Seven and eight, this piece. It's going to be one of those ones where you can put it in the wrong way round quite easily. Right, remembering that is slot seven. I'm looking at the picture, that is slot seven. Okay. Number eight is going to be the other part of his backbone. Just in case you're wondering, I never class any of my videos as how-to videos. I don't expect people to think... Well, I, no, I don't expect people to think... I'm an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing. Right, so there's a problem. Does that go that way round? Or that way round? 
if you're lucky, you look at the picture and you think, yeah, that's stupid. It's got to be that way. So that matches the picture. So that also means smooth side this side, smooth side this side. They're both the same way round. If you're not confident, putting glue on at this point in time is a very bad idea. Because if you've got to take it all apart, you're in trouble. So that was seven and eight. Nine and ten. Uh, nine, ten. Looks like they're going to be legs. Or are they? Nope, they're hips. Hip bones. Well, that's what I'm calling them. That's nine. That's going to go on there. Again, you could put that the other way up, but I'm pretty confident his legs are going to point downwards rather than up. Uh, number ten is going to be the same. Over there. Same rule of thumb, smooth bit on the outside. So smooth bit on the outside. Be that way around. Okay. It will be funny if I get it all wrong and I'll have to demonstrate why gluing it together is a bad idea. 9, 10, 11. 11. Jack Betty's favourite number. 11. You have to Google that if you want to find out what Jack Betty's all about. Excellent channel. Strange places in Scotland. Right, 11, that one there, that's again smooth side in this case to the front. A little bit of a tight squeeze. I'm going to go on there. A little bit tight, a little bit tight, doesn't want to go. Probably better if you hadn't actually glued it at that point, Granddad. But no, we forced it in. Okay, now we're going to have his legs coming down, I should think. Oh, and the, these dinosaurs, they always have a funny bone that sticks out between their legs. That sounds totally wrong, but they do. It's something to do with the way the muscles are connected to make the legs work. Which is irrelevant in a skeleton, but uh, never mind. So, that was 11 and 12, 13. Some sort of a leg bone, I think. Nope, 13 is the funny bone that sticks out in the middle. Well, there are a pair of them. Funny, funny bones. Yeah, you so say they um they support the muscles I think that do the moving the legs about, and that's always a question: which way round do they go? So that was uh, what number were we up to? That was thirteen, fourteen, same same shaped bone going the other way. Oh, that probably wants a bit of tidying up, doesn't it? That's a bit. That one does look a bit rough. Oh, put it in 
right slot. That makes life a lot better if you put it in the right place. There we go. Sometimes you can see them in the diagram and sometimes you can't. I can in this one, which is good. Oh. Poundland's best quality super glue. And they used to get about five to a pack, I think they've reduced it to three to a pack or something. Okay, 15. That is going to be a leg. That one. That leg. Piece number 15, and looking at my camera, we're up to about 15 minutes in the video. Smooth side. It's going to be on the outside. So it's got to be on this side. Okay, 16 is going to be the other leg, hold it the right way up, we can tell. If you are really keen, you'd sand all of these down. I've watched videos where guys take all the pieces off smooth side on the outside. Take all the pieces off and smooth them all down and pre-paint them, which is fine. I just don't do that. There's no doubt it ends up as a much nicer looking model. That one's slopping around a bit loose, isn't it? Just hold it for a second, see if it'll actually glue itself. Right, 15, 16, 17 and 18 are their feet. Uh, where are we going to find them? 17, 18, down here. 17. Another one of those ones that will go either way. So you have to have a look at the picture and try and figure out. Yeah, it's going to be that way. Oh. That one broke. That's a very thin bit of plywood. So that one's definitely going to get glued in place. Otherwise it will just fall off. tighter on that side. Are you supposed to stand up like that somehow? Hmm. So that was 17, 18, 19, 19, 19 goes up there. That slot just there. That's going to link up with his arms eventually. That piece there, that piece there. Piece number 19, and we're looking at the camera. It says 19 minutes. So we're running at about one piece a minute. <laughs> Smooth side to the front. One of these videos I was doing, a little, well, it was a few months back, I was pushing the bits of wood together so hard they broke and they stabbed me and I was bleeding over them. I was trying too hard. 20, 21, that's going to be little arm things, I think. 20, 21. So that's that piece. Twenty is going to be over here. Twenty, 
21 over the other side. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-eight. There are the ribs going across the back here. So twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I reckon it's going to be a small-looking one. Twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-eight, twenty-four. 22 22 <laughs> 22 uh, 22 reminds me to look at the clock on the camera because the camera does about 23 minutes at a time 22 23 down here Oh, that one's broken entirely. Oh, that's rubbish. This is where you get the quality of the different bits of plywood. That one's absolutely rubbish. I have to glue that just to hold it together. a shame it wasn't too bad up to that point some of them looked a little bit suspect that one is that one is hopeless can't tell which side's which on that on that side. That's pretty awful, that is. That's going to go up in there. That's going to go on there. Right, all right, I'll glue all those bits together and then we'll stick it on. And the camera's just going to time out. Back again. Now, yes, clearly, this is one of the cheaper kits. And all I'm doing at the moment is sticking my fingers together rather than the bits of wood. I might put it in the right slot. Is pretty awful. Obviously, it depends which way you look at it. If I only show it to you from this side, it'll look perfect. That's twenty three, twenty four. I wonder if you can hear my 3D printer in the background. It's upstairs in the workroom. I can hear it. Uh, 24, 25, over here. Oh, 
spotted another bit of that. Oh, I'm going to fit too. We'll save that till later. Uh, 25, 26. This is where you notice the difference between the cheap kits and the good quality kits. And the plywood starts to fail. Ooh, you're nearly out of super glue now, too. Yeah, I have to get another bit of super glue, another tube. 27. So we can get it together, then I'll get the glue afterwards. Thirty. That one. No, where does thirty go? Thirty is over here. Is that one? Oh, that's one that's falling apart as well. And I'm out of glue. Right, I'll have to get some more glue. Right, little side issue. Poundland super glue. Three in a pack. I'm sure it used to be five in a pack. Pierce the top first. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it goes in easy, sometimes you end up shoving it off at an angle and it all goes terribly wrong. So, while I got it, there's always some runs out easily to begin with, so we'll just give all of those a little bit of glue and now we'll try and fix this one that is all falling apart that's where I've used really cheap Plywood. That piece is clearly on the side. How about that bit? Is that yeah, it looks like that goes on there. A little bit of glue. Obviously there's a good chance of gluing your fingers together doing this. you do glue yourself together with super glue, don't panic. 
it will come off if you're gentle. If you try pulling it and panicking, then you start ripping your skin. But if you do it gently, it will come off. Right, that is rubbish, but that will go in place. Bit of glue. I tried to remember to put the super glue on a plastic top just in case it leaks while you're working. So that was 33, 34, 34 is that one. That's come out okay. Smooth side to the front. 35 is down there. That's come out okay. And 36 has got to be the only one that's left. So that's empty. Go in the bin. That one is peeling, but I think if we get it in place and put a bit of glue on it, it'll be all right. Do remember when you put super glue on it, don't go getting hold of it again because you'll stick your fingers to the dinosaur. Be more than enough glue. And that's it. Done. Velociraptor. So I'll tidy up and see if we can get a better better view of it. Magic. My finger. Turning it. <laughs> I did mechanise this turntable once, but it was more trouble than it was worth. I also bought an old record turntable for doing it, but because that's up in the loft, so I'd have to go all the way up, get the ladder out to get up there to get it. So you'll have to put it up with my finger in the bottom of the screen. Yeah, well it works, it looks nice, even though it's actually pretty cheap and pretty rubbishy. 49 pence, that cost me in a charity shop. Job done. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.